was live. Live on a Monday night. Live on a Monday night with a weekend geekdom's Geo. Hey everybody. Happy and TV Captain here. Smart Comics himself, the Uncanny Omar. <laughs> Or my uh, Captain Smart Comic glasses. I see that. I didn't even know you wore spectacles, I don't think. Wow, I don't fancy. really. I just want to look smart every once in a while in my videos. So ah. these are uh, props. No, I'm just kidding. So that's, that's but why I usually wear uh, uh, contacts. Sometimes I need them for reading. I'm getting older. You know, it's a, it happens. It hasn't happened to me. Boom. Oh, God. Yeah, but you got everything else breaking down in your body. That's a good point. So that's a really you know, good point. My eyes go. I'm okay with that. Oh <laughs> shit! And I won't be able to read. Yeah, and I won't okay. be able to read my comics from InStockTrades.com, which reminds me, I need to open up my phone because I have I have a uh, open channel to a certain member of IST who's going to send me a text as soon as they have the 50% off books. So awesome. I have it here. Oh, I got that, man. I can, I can hook you up. I'm just going to make up prices. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> it's talktrades.com where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts add another 2% to that, which means you can get books up to 50% two percent off where are you going to find that nowhere else but in stocktrades.com i bet every quarter there's an omni bros live discount code mm -hmm. if you live in the united states you order fifty dollars or more worth of books you get free shipping you know how much of a deal that is that's a big deal i just shipped a bunch of books today and that's shipping is costly 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 so that's a big deal to get free shipping Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. It's in stocktrades.com. Nice. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A smooth transition between Bravo. a joke and a plug. I, I'm so impressed with the two of you. I love it. Oh, yeah. We are. We. That's how we live our lives. That's right. Mysterious. It never thing. has gotten me out of a ticket, though. I will say that. Well, it's because you you uh, don't have me riding shotgun next to you, or Transformers in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back from Botcon. Yeah, you remember that story. I'm so glad I shared that with you all. <laughs> My wife hates that story. Me, <laughs> I love that story. I so think it's much. hilarious. <laughs> So, tonight we're talking about hauls, previews, reads, and DC solicits. And our DC mm -hmm. solicits, solicits, solicits guy is Gabe, and he's not here yet. But when he's here, we'll probably be ready to talk about DC solicits. Because I believe he's the one that typed him up on the page. And I guess I could go to the page and look for Gabe's post. But that would take time. Time is the one thing I don't have a whole lot of left. So I don't know that <laughs> oh I want to do that. It's so wow. morbid, man. I know. I've gotten That's dark so already. It's gotten dark. You read TMNT IDW and you get all dark on us. <laughs> <laughs> Are we doing hauls today? Because I got quite a haul and a shout out. Um, and we're doing reads, right? We're not. Or are we doing the solicitations? I can't remember what Jess said. I just Every said it, and I know you saying, said it. You're losing your mind already. No, I'm in my. Uh, oh man, I just learned this in Kempo. Wushu, something like that. Like it's where I don't listen, and I'm I'm just in a state of being. So now that's the ongoing joke between my wife and I. Mushi, that's it. I'm like, you just got mushied because I wasn't listening to the jack shit you were saying. Oh, I gotta remember that. Yeah, I probably should not have learned that. <laughs> sure, let's talk about reads. Let's talk about reads first. What'd you read, buddy? Uh, Geo, what'd you get? What'd you read? 
I haven't hauled anything, but I did start reading this manga. It's called Spirit Circle mm-hmm. by Satoshi Mizukami. And to be quite honest with you guys, I know next to nothing about it. I, I've only started <laughs> a couple pages, but it is about this kid who has the ability to see and interact with um, dead people. And there's this new girl that walks in. I don't know if the, yeah, there it is. She wa- she's a new transfer student and he's head over heels over her. And um, it, it talks about reincarnation and there's a battle aspect to it. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give you an update next Monday because it's very weird. But the art in it is uh, pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I like it. I don't know if anybody can understand what the heck is going on in those pictures, but I do. And uh, yeah. Who's Spirit the manga? Circle, everybody. Manga Ka? Who is it? That guy, Satoshi Mizukami. Okay. I don't know who that uh, is. But he's from the creator of Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, which I have not read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, biscuit hammer! <laughs> no, Lucifer and the biscuit hammer. Oh, and Lucifer the biscuit and the biscuit hammer. hammer. Yeah. yeah, real yeah, yeah. manga or bullshit? We need to we, play that again. Yeah, we do need to play that again. <laughs> we need to get a game on here and play that again. You guys sucked at that game. <laughs> I don't think we did. I think uh, Gabe and I did pretty well at that. Mm, did you? Uh, nah, you're going all bushy on me now. <laughs> Good job. I think I that's what that word is. Uh, what about you, Jess? What did you read? You've been reading a lot. I've seen you just about on every damn channel every day on my, <laughs> like, it's like, I know I make a lot of content, but my content sometimes it takes like, uh, you know, it takes about 20 minutes to record and then about 10 minutes, to, 10, 20 minutes to edit. And then it's probably, I like to make them short, like six to 10 minutes each. And I look at you and you're on a stream for an hour and a half and you're like, oh, I got to jump on the next stream. I got to go. I know. Saturday, <laughs> I had three o- over one hour streams and I was Ooh. exhausted at the end of the day. Holy smoke. Um, I won't go into detail about some of these because I already talked about them on those shows. Um Let's see. Do, 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 I'll talk about these five real quick because some of them were from our friend Kyle. Okay. Kyle Pyle. Um, That's what I named it. Go ahead. Kyle Kyle Pyle Jr. then. Sure. Um, this, the one was, this one was not The Infinite Horizon. This one was... Uh, I did for the image show that I did on Saturday. This is about a guy that gets stranded in uh, Afghanistan and he has to fight his way back to the United Ooh. States uh, in Afghanistan during the war. Uh, the Chinese launch missiles that knock out our satellites. The Saudi Arabian family is assassinated. All the oil wells are torched and anarchy is in the world. The United States is under martial law. Uh, his wife lives on a farm that controls the water um, that goes to um, that feeds uh, New York City, downstate New York. And so she's got problems trying to keep squatters off her land, keep people from, you know, she's do- dealing without her husband and her husband's fighting to get home by boat, by plane, by raft, by and the arts by Phil Notto. It's by Ger- Jerry Duggan. Uh, wow. And it is great. It is really great. I highly recommend Infinite Horizon. It's by Image, and I had no idea um, about this book. It was just, it's been sitting on my shelf forever. I think it was a recommendation from Third Eye Comics from five years ago or something. It's awesome. Uh, from the Kyle Pile, Infinite Dark. Super great. I love this book too. Whoop, there's Extreme Gabe. Let me get him on. Yoink. Hey. What's up, buddy? Knock, knock, everybody. Can I come in and play? <laughs> of course. Of course. And this book is Infinite Dark. Uh, the entire sure. universe has been wiped out. And there's a space station that is keeping humanity alive. But... Um, Every sun, every star, every planet has been wiped out. And 
uh, entropy itself has been personified and wants to wipe out this space station so another big bang can occur. And the space station people are not having it. They want to live too. And it's really boss. I loved this book, Infinite Dark. It ended really well. It ended, uh, I thought, with a perfectly satisfying organic ending. And there's a book two coming out. I, I, it, it, there's a book two coming out. I don't know. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't need another chapter. I don't think. But it may take it in a different direction. So I will check it out when it comes out. But as far as I'm concerned, Infinite Dark can be one and done. Uh, I enjoyed it. Let's see. Um, 303 refers to the rifle in this book by Garth Ennis. And it's about. I really like that book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I hadn't read it. it until I got it because uh, Kyle sent it to me about a month ago or so. And man, it was so good. The art's good. It's from Avatar with Jason Burroughs' art uh, with Garth, Garth Ennis. But a, whoops, can't show you that page. That's pretty grisly. <laughs> <laughs> but it's about a Russian troop of soldiers led by a grizzled old uh, Russian commander who has a 303 rifle that's a British old rifle that's amazingly accurate and uh there in the afghanistan hills a u.s plane has gone down the british the russians and the U the u.s are all trying to get to this plane first the u.s has said to the british we don't need your help which is very bizarre because they're allies and so the russians realize this and realize what's ever on the plane must be very important and the Russians and the British uh, manage to get to it. What it is pisses off the Russian so much that he smuggles himself to the United States in the second part of it to, um, to do something which he thinks will balance the scales. Uh, he's very angry about what um, was, was so secret in that plane and it's a writ, uh, you can't do better than Garth Ennis with war comics. And he writes it like it really is. So I recommend the 303 highly. And then, of course, I can't talk about it yet because I'm scheduled to talk about it tomorrow on Old, Old Reader, New, New Reader. That is the Authority Omnibus, which I read today. Jesus. Somebody's actually going to have you on the show. Yeah, I read the whole thing today. <laughs> oh, it's a quick read, man. I read it Sunday. Yeah, I I I never realized that I never read the Jenny Sparks miniseries either, because well, it wasn't collected in the absolutes. Well, I realized that I never <laughs> read the whole thing proper until I looked at my Wildstorm absolutes and realized how sucky they were because they're super incomplete. They don't com com take uh, collect the whole. Ellis um, Millar stories, I, which I never realized until I went to them and ended up selling them on eBay when this omnibus got announced. I ended up just quickly selling them and getting rid of them because this is so. This is the first time I've ever read the entire thing. I had never read the Jenny Sparks wait, thing either. Wait a minute. You trust the DC to actually publish that book? Wow. I did. We, we did not learn our lesson with uh, <laughs> Hush Omnibus. The, um, this was before the Hush, Hush Omnibus. Yeah, yeah I was, was kind of holding my breath. Well, yeah. all I had, all I had, were crappy incompletes as it was. They it but wasn't the full story. You didn't know that at the time, though. To you, they were complete because you, I assume, read them, right? I did read them, and then I looked at them, and it said like one through twelve, and then. 19 through 24 or something and i'm like what huh. the heck yeah they're they're i never owned the absolute so i didn't know i know the they reprinted them didn't they the wild storm ones the dc the dc absolutes of i think uh, they i think gabe has those right yeah i have them they just they just came out not too long ago and i think they're complete that's right I, the only thing it doesn't have is that one through four Jenny Sparks series or whatever it was. Yeah, not that it's necessary. I just thought, no. oh, I don't think I've ever read this. 
Yeah. So I will be talking about that on Old Reader, New Reader on Captain Smart Comics channel tomorrow night at 8 p.m. I made a suggestion for Captain Smart Comics and his torture. Yeah, you did. You said reader. you should read this. Yeah. Because it's what terrible. It? Space Odyssey? Cosmic Odyssey. Cosmic Odyssey. It's the worst thing you can make anybody read who's not. Busy. No, we've yeah. gone through Crisis on Infinite Earths. They can That's go through anything now. <laughs> we've done yeah. Roy Tom. Roy Thomas Avengers. You're They're working, okay. They're working towards their dissertation on their DC <laughs> universe knowledge. <laughs> Dude, Cosmic Odyssey was great. It had Mignola's artwork. Yeah, but you still need to know a lot of information about that book to get into. Uh, I, can, I really can't remember. I haven't read it since for the 90s. I don't. It's like asking somebody to read The Legion. Like the death of Pharaoh, lad? Yes. Woo All right. Je uh, Gabe, did you haul anything or read anything? Read. We're doing reads. Read. My, uh, my, my, bad, my bad, player. Read. No reads. No reads this week. Is that cranberry and bourbon juice you're drinking over there, Jess? Uh, that's cranberry without the bourbon. Thank ah. you. So you're, you're getting ready for me to come up there in October, huh? Oh, like oh yeah. Bourbon We're stockpiling bourbon. bourbon and cran <laughs> cranberry. <laughs> I my can't man. wait to take you out in public again and have you order that and embarrass me. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like a Shirley Temple, man. That is a manly drink. <laughs> you, you should see this guy. When he goes to a convention that has free beer, he's like double fisting at booze at that point. <laughs> you well, yeah. I yeah. remember somebody made the wrong drinks, and I'm like, I'll drink them all. I don't yeah. know what they are, but I'll take them. <laughs> C2E2. Uh, Omar came in during setup. During setup at C2E2, they serve you free beer. That's right. Like, hey, Omar, let's go get some free beer. He goes, okay, I wish I had four hands right now. And he walks out with all the beers. I was drinking by the cart. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, who's this asshole with? Oh, that sounds like me in the old days. I am looking at my future right now. It's not too shabby. Actually, not yeah. too shabby. Yeah, you got a lot of bombshell statues. Mm. And maybe t shirt I'd have some. Maybe I'll replace those that bombshells with correctly. Uh, like big titty anime girl statues or something. Oh, I'm not a must a bombshell guy, but you know that's cool. I'm glad you like them. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever, dude. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Judge me for my anime statues. Uh, yeah, I do. What did you read, Gabe? I said nothing. You did? I did. Okay. Well, I also read The Authority. And I wish I had the book with me. My wife is going to review it with me. Uh, have you read The Wrong Earth? Any Anyone here? No. Never it's heard Tom of Payer. Oh, my God. I love that comic book. Like, I didn't... It's a, it's a volume one. Tom Payer, uh, Jamal Engel, Sea Artist... Damn it, I can't remember who published it. We're going to review it tomorrow. He did some of the authority. I recognize that name. Yeah. He's done stuff for DC and Image and Marvel. Dude, it's freaking awesome. It's like the character name is uh, Dragonfly and the, the Dragonfly and the Dragon and Dragonfly Man. Dragonfly Man, it's the same guy, right? Different Earths. Yeah, I know. I'm telling them about the book. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I love it. <laughs> Dragonfly Man, it's like Batman sixty six, right? And and then Dragonfly is like All Star Batman, and they cross Earths, and that's all I will say. It is worth reading. It is freaking awesome, huh? and I highly recommend it. The Wrong Earth. Where did you find out about this book? Uh, actually, Kyle sent that to me a while back. Mm, I okay, I want to say. Let me make sure that's what it's called. I always fuck these things up. I want to, yeah, it is the wrong earth. Tom Payer, that's who wrote it. Volume one, and the publisher is, like I said, but we're gonna do a review on it sometime this week. I don't know who the publisher is. It's not Image. I know that. Ahoy Comics. That's who it is. I don't even oh, know who they are. The collector knew that. Okay, cool. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. Loved it. Uh, and then of course I read The Authority. What else did I read? The Black Road. Which is freaking awesome, and of course I left upstairs. Uh, I read Volume One of Copperhead. Oh yeah, that's a good. I've book. got the next three from Kyle today. That's a great book. I love that book. So there's only four volumes, and that's it, right? 
He's working on finishing number five. It's very slow to come out. Very slow. Have you are are you caught up with it? Yeah. How, so the it remains that good. Uh, it does. Yeah, I think it's strong throughout. And then I forgot when I got this, I started reading this. This is the complete Frank Miller RoboCop. Oh man, Omnibus. Oh man. Now, do y'all know oh, the story man. about that? I oh, don't. How he wrote the script for um, RoboCop two, two and three. Yeah, so I do this, remember so that. So this is the unproduced uh, screenplays for RoboCop two and three. Is what these are. Is it any good? It's ridiculously over the top awful. <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> it's so awesome. It's so awesome. Is that what the I don't care. Jose rip art? Like, yeah, um, it is. The right yeah, it is. Part. Let me highlight you that so we can see some of the art. Like it's just so ridiculous, over the top, like nonsense, late eighties, early nineties action, and oh my god, I love it. It make like the, the I read the first. Book. I couldn't put it down. It's so it's so ridiculous. It's up my alley. I love this stuff. Uh, well, and then I there's guess a story the in here. Script, they edited it so much. He wanted his name off of it. So yeah, they put him in the movie, and they put him in a game like a small bit in the movie. So this is his uncut script. Yeah, look, look at that. Gruesome. Man, I love this shit. Whoa. So, um, there are there is a story back here though by Ed Brisson. He wrote uh, some of the stuff. So it's like, so it's like Miller plotted it, and then Brisson wrote it. I haven't read that yet. But have you read this stuff, uh, Gabe? I figured out of anybody here, this would be up your alley. Like a long, long time ago, I barely remember it. But I remember see, I did too. Out. And I remember when it was coming out. Oh, I love this. Like, I, I don't know. That's like Frank Miller. There's like a smaller hardcover out there somewhere, I think, or smaller trade. Yeah, and it's I guess beautiful Boom art, owns, dude. I Boom love Boom. Juan Jose Rip. Yes. Um, Boom owns the rights to it, I guess, or to Weird. RoboCop now. So here, let me show you some not so gruesome, but his art is solid. Kind of reminds me of this. What is that book that you and Jess go on about? Crossed. <laughs> a little the, bit. I mean, I don't know that we go over on about it. The detail, the, it reminds me of this kind of details. It's Jason Burroughs mixed with a little bit of Jeff Darrow, but he did that uh, Wolverine. Best there is. Uh, he used to do a bunch of covers for Lady Death. He oh, did that Black Summer. That Black Summer he did with Warren Ellis is amazing. There's Robo. Look at how awesome, man. Yeah, it's so it takes me back. Art. So I start. Good. I did start reading this. The cover looks cool. <laughs> but that's it, man. That's all I read. The cover's great. The cover's a Frank Miller beat up uh, Robocop. Yeah. That's why it looks awesome. Well, not only that, but then it's like glossy. It's got that silver that line foil into going? it. Yeah. Foil. That's what I meant. Aluminum foil. Yeah, I couldn't put this stuff down. Which I was like, oh, this is, made out of. This is ridiculously <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Like all the women here, <laughs> they're just boobs out everywhere, yeah, man. It's, I mean, it's just great. Just, you just think to yourself, uh, Frank Miller, cocaine, Robocop. What, what would I get you? <laughs> Robocop two and three. Yeah. Drop it. Oh, man. Um, do we go? Everybody said what they read, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a question that I think is a good question. Okay. And I think. We have people on that can answer it. <clears throat> Guys, I'm reading Blackest Night. So far, I don't love it. Am I missing something in previous runs? Yes. Yeah, the you are. The setup. The setup mm -hmm. to it. That yeah, takes five two, years. Two Green Lantern and Omnibus is worth. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, I mean, the question is, you are missing something. You do kind of have to back up a little bit. The uh, Jeff Johns Green Lantern and Omnis is a I, good kind of foundation primer for that. I agree. I at least surprised. read Green Lantern Rebirth and Sinestro Core War. At least those two. Mm -hmm. If I'm anything. I'm not liking it, though. You don't need a lot of information. The omnibus it's is brutal. Good. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it, it, brutality is not for everybody. Uh, shock, right? But like when Hawk and, uh, not Hawk and Dove, uh, when Hawkman and Hawk Girl get it, man, that was rough. I remember reading that. I was like, holy shit. This is DC. Edgy. That, but uh, uh, phone call scene, I loved it. Yeah, and I loved all the extra. 
I guess, you know, if you hadn't read a lot of DC, though, those extra issues from the canceled comics like Catwoman and Starman and all that stuff towards the end, I loved all that stuff. But the setup started in Green Lantern Rebirth. Not... It's fucking confusing. Not Green Lantern Rebirth, DC Rebirth series. Like the 2005 the Green Lantern. Rebirth, yeah. Right. The green, the Jeff Johns and Ethan Van Skyver miniseries Green Lantern Rebirth. Rebirth. That's where everything started. Mm -hmm. And then it's set up to the Sinestro Corps war and then the Red Lanterns and everything else. And then the Blackest Night. Good hey, question. Um, uh, mm -hmm. A little bit of a pro tip. Don't go further. If you're not liking Green Lantern, uh, if you're not liking Blackest Night, don't go into Brightest Day. Just, just end it there. Brightest Day is awful. Awful. Best thing about Brightest Day was the Justice League series. What was that called? It was called, hey, you know how to be happy? Go eat a hamburger. No, fool. Best the Judd Winnick about, series. The best thing about Brightest Day was that we had Jeff Johns doing Lost. Aquaman for the first time. Just as the international, Omar. No, 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 no. It was something else. It was like Justice League Lost or something. It was, it was twenty-four long? issues. It should have been. It should have been longer. Oh, it was, yeah. It no, was, that was a great series. I know what you're talking about. I'm forgetting the yeah. name. Yeah, Judd Winnick. I think it's like his last stuff he did at DC. But anyway, good question. Thank Generation you. Lost. Generation Lost. That's it. Who's smarter? We got a we got a smart super chat. <laughs> Who's smarter, Bruce Wayne or Lex Luthor? <laughs> Bruce Lex Wayne. Luther. I'm going to go with Lex Luthor. He was able to put his brain inside of his clone body and pretend to be the son of Lex Luthor. I don't... Batman just traveled through time to come back. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, kinda... I think Lex Luthor actually runs the business and has a lot of like dealings with his business and what yeah. they create and what they, they kind of facilitate where Bruce Wayne is kind of just like a face of the company. I don't think he walks in and goes, hey, Lucius Fox, I got this wonderful idea how to cure this disease or how to give people free health care or whatever Wayne Tech the next big project is. There you have it. Jess, why did you say Batman? Well, <clears throat> I just think Batman's smarter. He figures exactly. things out better than Lex Luthor does. Mm -hmm. He's the world's greatest detective. Exactly. And look at Lex Luthor's uh, track record. He's lost so many times against Superman. It's easy. Yeah. Has I'm sorry, has Bruce Wayne ever been president of the United <laughs> States? <laughs> I think not, gentlemen. <laughs> uh let's see. How about if we do halls? Who's hauled? I, I didn't haul anything, so I'm good. I did a small haul. Well, I'm still waiting haul. on my haul, but I got a Kyle pile. I was going to show off and give him a shout out. But go ahead. What did you haul, Jess? I hauled. Yeah. Wonder Woman I Volume 3. You know, they that. just announced an omnibus today, right? Of the Greg Rucka Wonder Woman. Very funny. <laughs> 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 that, you, that used to work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now I'm, DC cancels everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm way on to you at this point, buddy. The Woods. Yeah. Uh, Yearbook edition, volume two. Oh, how is that? I've been wanting to read those. Um, I I read it in singles back when I was a singles collector, and I really liked it. So I'm looking forward to getting reacquainted with it. It's James Tinney in the fourth, so I dig his stuff. I don't know why I bought this piece of junk. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a big Kelly Sue the Conic fan, aren't you? I want to hear <laughs> so people say this is good, and I want to read it and see if it's good. It, I haven't read it, but it's great. <laughs> is that what the <laughs> is that what the blurbs say on the on the cover? Yeah, the back yeah. cover. People Giovanni say it's Menendez. good. I I haven't read this, but it's great. Jess, I ha I ordered it, so it's good. I like the people say it's good. That should be a blurb. And then TMNT Volume Nine. Yes, awesome. I think you've showed that before because I remember. Oh really? 
or maybe I showed it off. You showed it because I was mess. I was oh, messing around oh, saying oh. that's the one where Leo died, and somebody mm -hmm. got upset with me in the chat. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, "Dude, I'm just fucking with you. I'm not gonna spoil that. Obviously, it's not Leo. It's Donnie. He's dead. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and he stays dead. <laughs> Comic books. Uh, is yeah. that it, man? That's what I hauled. It was a but small. Just, just still needs to go watch some uh, Ninja Turtle movies. I do. And you need to go watch Grandma's Boy. I might have some free time this week. Now that I finished Authority, I just have to read TMNT Volume 2 for me and the Tyler Blunt show, and, and I'll be all set. Everybody in the chat knows that Grandma's Boy is one of the best movies ever. It's pretty funny. Watch. Okay. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Pretty uh, funny. I dug it. Uh, so I got my Kyle Pyle. Kyle's a very generous friend of mine. Uh... He got me ruined. I, I don't know what any of these are, by the way. Uh, so speak up if you do. I know. He's good at picking out things we've never heard of. So Patience, Conviction, Revenge. That's a cool title. This is from Aftershock. Uh, this is another Action Lab comics here. Ruin of Thieves. Now, this one I think Jess has read. Crosswind? The Gail Simone book? No, I haven't heard of it. I really thought you had read this because somebody was hating on it. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Mm, no, that's right. It's not you. It can't beat you. Oh, artwork's pretty cool. Looks photorealistic. Maybe like a mm. light box was used. Um, yeah, I've never read this. It's Image. And I know my friend Jess speaks highly of these. Joyride. I stand by those books. Now, how many of these are there? Three. 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 That's it? No hardcovers? Nothing? Nope. Correct. Because, good God, the artwork by Marcos... Is it Marcos Toe? Marcus Toe? Mm-hmm. And, oh, man. Beautiful. Yeah. They are fun. Now, is this is this it? Is that all I need? Or is there a spinoff series? Or... Nope. That's it. Man. That's it. Okay. Uh, this is one I never heard of. God Shaper. Oh yeah, that's good. Isn't you read this? Like Black Mask or something? Or that's by uh, so, is that Cy Spurrier? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you've read this? I have. You said right. Black Black Mask? Well, yeah, I was. Yeah, uh, it's an image, right? Uh, it is Boom. One of those companies. Anyway, I read it. It's good. It's very interesting. <laughs> Well, if it's anything like his other books, I'm sure it is. Yeah. And then there's three. This is Image. I think Rated. I have that, and I just haven't read it. Rated M for Mature. But it's got a bunch yeah, of... That's not us. <laughs> Rated I for Immature. Uh, hold on. It's got a bunch of manly dudes. Is that one volume only? Looks like it. My kind of book, man. It's got a bunch of manly dudes with swords hacking other manly dudes with swords. So, here. Oh, let, me, let me show you. Manly dudes with swords. Yeah! I like stuff like this. Nice. Because uh, I was reading Black Road. I know Jess read it. Um, but, of course, Lake of Fire is my, one of my favorite ones. Have you read yeah. Spider, Spider King, Jess? I have not. I think you would like that one. That one's kind of like Lake of Fire, but it's Vikings and Aliens instead. Oh, I'm interested. And then he was kind enough to send me his copy of the deluxe edition of Pride of Baghdad because uh, a couple of, I think last year I was talking about how I was stupid and had the standard edition. I never got picked up the deluxe edition. Mm. So, but that's it. Mad shout out to my boy Kyle. Thank you so much. Um, now, did we get an email yet? Or a message, perhaps, with the highlights? We, we did not. No, okay. but uh, maybe after I do my haul. Not really. Okay. Nice. What'd you haul, Gabe? I thought you uh, said nothing. Sorry. No, no, I hauled. I, I got a small haul. Uh, yeah. Basically, it's our review books from In Stock Trades, which includes... Mm. I'm really pumped about this book. I heard nothing but great things about Murder Falcon. How did um, Jess and I step out of that one? Like, I don't know. You don't wanna, we don't want to read Murder Falcon. This looks so freaking <laughs> cool. Like, if you're talking about just out of control, crazy artwork. That this Daniel Warren Johnson guy is just sick. I mean, he has this really. I have no idea what the, what the story of this book is, um, but just the art inside of here has got me excited. And Murder mm -hmm. Falcon is just a cool ass name. 
he has a Spotify playlist um, of the music that he used to write the book, if anybody gotcha. wants to check it out. And then uh, volume one of Grant Morrison's Green Lantern. Yeah. We'll how I saw goes. volume two got solicited, of course. Excellent. Hey, so. Just a standard size hardcover, everybody. Anybody boner know? shrinker. God bless. And uh, not a boner shrinker. is this yeah. oversized Thanos. Hard that color. definitely pitches the tent. That's this an awesome is, book. This is the uh, the Donny Kate <laughs> stuff. Uh, and to answer any questions, yes, you can jump in with just this book. You don't need to read uh -huh. the Jeff Lemire stuff. Everything you need is is here. This is 13 through 18 of Thanos. It also has the Ghost Rider or the Cosmic Ghost Rider miniseries and Thanos Legacy, which you kind of skipped. Thanos Legacy was kind of awful. Um but yeah, so this is a this will be a part of a future Omni Bros review. Big shout out and thanks to In Stock Trades for these. And yesterday I was kind of shopping around town with two uh, different comic book stores. I found a shop that had a lot of cool out of print stuff that I needed, including mm. Onslaught or Road to Onslaught uh, Volume One here. Bro, you need a Ollie's. That's what you all need down there. When I make my trip to Ollie's, you need any more of those? Because I've seen volumes two and three before at an Ollie's. I have access to two and three. Okay. I just didn't have access to one. When you mean access, cheaper than six dollars? Uh, yes. God damn, boy! What the hell? Are you getting a five finger discount? No, no, <laughs> six dollars, dude. We, we have two and three for like, like you know at the store, so I can get it for dirt cheap. Oh, uh, wink, wink. I not even you. the store, but it's just like. It's like convention stocks. I can really get it for dirt cheap if it's convention stocks. God. So, so yeah, there's a, yeah, so that's that. This is stuff that's not printed. I didn't know that. Thanks to Omar for helping me out yesterday when I was out looking uh, and checking this out. This is not in the Onslaught Omnibus. So there's three, uh, there's three fairly decent sized chunky trades that complete the road to Onslaught, and it's not in the Onslaught Omnibus. So, this is great stuff. You got some uh, really cool. This is one of my favorite Joe Mad X-Men issues in here when he goes after Sabretooth. So you get some good old Joe Mad art in here. That's never a bad thing. Cool. And then you got a lot of other like wannabe Joe Mad art in here, like Roger Cruz and other guys like that in here. I think there's some Cubert <laughs> stuff in here. Look at this great Rogan Iceman kind of fight, too. So good stuff. So... That'll get that'll get read in about a year, maybe when it's like a <laughs> 90s X-Men read through. And that's it for me. Nice. Word. Cool, cool. And then like I got House of X. Was it House of X that came out this week or Powers of Ten? I don't know. But I read that. That was dope. Uh there's a question for Geo from yeah. ETL. Yay. How is post Jeff John's New 52 Aquaman? I think some of it is by Dan Abnett and some by Jeff Parker, maybe others. Uh, after John's, uh, Jeff Parker took the title into very awesome territory, heavily underrated, in my honest opinion. It's probably one of the best New 52 stuff, in, 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 in this guy's opinion. Uh, then Cullen Bunn wrote the book, and it sucked. And then... Uh, <laughs> Abnet started his run late into the New 52 era, and when it transitioned into Rebirth, he was allowed to continue the run uh, into, you know, the Rebirth run. So, yeah, Jeff Parker's awesome. Don't read Cullen Bunn stuff, and Abnet is just as good um, as all the rest. But, yeah, Jeff Parker is the underrated uh, Aquaman writer, in my opinion. I think Jeff Parker's an underrated writer, period. Overall, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like his stuff in Agents of Atlas, pure gold. Or, uh, Nobody Red, ever Red Hulk. Oh, Red Agents of Red, Atlas. Red Hulk. I love Red Hulk. Yeah. Good I point, Gabe. His Red Hulk. Mm -hmm. It's just not a lot of people talk about the guy. Batman 66, that Omni was great. That's right, he did a lot of that. Red Hulk stuff. The Red Hulk stuff is great because that's after uh, Jeff Loeb kind of screwed everything up and it was just basically Red Hulk came in to kind of uh, annul for his sins and go back and kind of fix everything. And then it was really cool Gabriel Hardman art in it too. That was a good run. People need to check that out. That should be... Man, I wish they do another Omnibus of the Red Hulk stuff. That, Jeff that could e Yeah, that could easily be a second that. Omnibus. Yeah. Here's a Spider-Man question from Tiedler... 
bloomed. <laughs> How does Silk rank in terms of enjoyment compared to modern Spidey spinoffs? Scarlet Spidey, Scarlet Spidey, <laughs> Silk or Spidey 2000? What the hell? Why did <laughs> you this question up? He said <laughs> hi, everyone. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go with Spidey 2099, then Kane, then Silk, then Scarlet Spidey, Ben Riley. That's that's just me though. I, I like uh, I like Skil Silk a lot mm -hmm. and haven't read any of those others. That makes sense. I mean Silk yeah, I don't know is pretty awesome, Silk. but <laughs> silk, silk sheets and silk underwear is dangerous because you slip yeah. right off your bed. <laughs> you'll, you'll twist your like neck. Silk, the actual character, she's fun. I don't make enough money to buy silk sheets because I buy fucking comic books. <laughs> I sleep uh, on my army. Yeah, for those categories, I have to go uh, Ben Riley, Kane, uh, 2099, and uh, and Silk at the bottom just because I don't have much experience with her. And we need that Ben Riley second omnibus too. Mm -hmm. Do we though? We do. Yes. yes. Yeah. So you yes. can buy it. Yeah. I am not buying it. And then that. sell it a month later going, I don't know why I bought this piece of shit. Dude. Oh, Darkhawk was in this. I don't want it anymore. Darkhawk. $15. <laughs> See, all I got to do is wait for Jess to buy it. I trick him into buying something. Then a month from there, when he has this immediate remorse, He'll post it in the group, and I'll be like, "Hey, man, are you gonna sell that uh, Ven Omnibus Volume Two? I know you just paid sixty bucks for it, but I'll give you thirty-five. <laughs> That's the game, man. No, I'm not falling for your tricks anymore again. <laughs> no, get thee behind me, Satan. Again, okay, not gonna happen. We got any more questions? Since uh, the solicits aren't up, even though I know there's some, I know the X Men books that are coming. Like we're gonna get our first few ish, uh, volumes of Age of X Men, X Man. Sorry. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, we can go through solicits or not solicits, but we can go through. Re do you want to do releases? Do you want to do the solicits talk, or just burn through the solicits and then get to the? We can. We talks? can talk about the new Wait. solicits. <laughs> hey, here's a super a chat. Super chat. What? Good old Josh Angel. Thank Can you, of sir. pledge for Jess's Akira box set. <laughs> <laughs> right here, buddy. There oh, it is. How much dust is on that? On the floor. Oh, man. On the floor with... Uh, it's got Alfred, who's broken, and uh, Cowboy Bebop Spike action figure, who I haven't decided what to do yet. What about that stack yeah. of omnibuses next to the floor there? Yeah, I haven't figured out where to put those yet. I'm making room on my Marvel shelf. So I got, I got a couple of ideas for you. Yes. We'll do uh what's it called? Uh, uh geek renovation. Yeah, when I come over, we'll do a geek renovation. We'll film it. We'll put it on our channels. <laughs> it's pretty much just me swiping a bunch of your rare shit. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I don't I, I may not so, let you into the I will take out the back. that's why I left out the Latino geek renovations. <laughs> I left <laughs> geek renovations. <laughs> Uh, ETL, no, I do not. The cleaning lady is not allowed down into the basement. I do, I do my own cleaning down here. I do my own dusting. Of course. Myself. You, you have a cleaning lady? I sure do, man. I got to keep the what's her name? going. What's her name? Don't you say Con Lupe. Consuelo. <laughs> That's so racist. It's <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Or you just you just call her that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the name Is that her Christian name? That's the name I put on her check every three weeks. <laughs> okay. 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 Cool. We're going to drop that conversation talk later. <laughs> hey, you, it was a legit question from ETL. Do you pay her by not calling immigration? Is that how that works? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, now that's just <laughs> wrong. She is a U.S. citizen, my friend. So are me and Gabe and Gio. Well, you're perfectly exactly. welcome to come clean my house, too. I knew it, you racist fucker. 
and you can mow my yard. Had been had we been three white guys, you would have been like, hey, you guys want to come over and shoot some golf balls? You guys want to come over and have a barbecue? So you put some mayonnaise. You invite us to clean your house, you racist. Bitch. You're coming to my house with, to stay with your wife, you <laughs> slanderer. Yes. How long did that take? Oh, 40 minutes. I'm off my game. <laughs> 40 minutes to make him snap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's look at the books that are coming out this week. Gabe, you got yeah. that ready? Yeah, I was waiting for Justin to come over and ask me to come over and they change his transmission in his car or something. <laughs> no, I got white guys for that. Oh. Nice. Uh, we have a uh, another super chat. Oh, oh. I uh, reapply, Tevon. Uh, reapply. I haven't seen your name. And uh, I, I will get you on the um, into the group. Don't do it. He's a flipper. He is? Wait, a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know who he is, is this how no. people get into the group now? They pay just money? What the fuck? I don't see any of this money. Wait a minute. I don't yeah, either. You kind of do. We haven't done anything with any of this uh, money. It's been sitting in the PayPal account for two and a half years now. We've never done a thing with any of it. That PayPal account is called Justice Checking Account that I have on file for the show's money. That's how I pay the cleaning lady. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Oh, man. All right. Well, yes, that's how you get into the group is you have to pay Palace money. Or <laughs> yeah. am I here? There you go. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's a big super chat. Oh, Ooh. little something for the kitty. Love these get togethers. Y'all are great. Thank Ooh, you, Justin. Justin Page. That's real money. Thank you, buddy. Awesome. Always appreciate it, everybody. It's not necessary, but we appreciate it. That's what it they goes, say on tip jars, too. It goes right up my nose. Not necessary, but appreciate it. An ETL with the rear with the real info. Um, I can guess weekly for years now to stay in the group. Is that not? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's almost like a car club where you have to pay us like a tithing every month. Yeah. <laughs> ETL, that was supposed to stay between us. Whoops. All right. So are we ready? I think I'm screen sharing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready. Okay. Are we okay. Good? All right. Nope. I don't mm, see anything nope. yet. We can't see anything. Are you sharing your screen? I thought I was. Let's do this again. Any minute now. Omnibros live. Are we there? No. <laughs> IST instacrades.com. Where we are always ready. <laughs> nope. What's is it giving you an error? No, I, I go share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think Jess has to click something. I have to click something? Yeah. Probably. I'll click you. In, in the waiting room. Do you have an F4? In button? the waiting room. <laughs> I clicked you. You're highlighted now. How about that? Okay. Oh. What, if you, what if you click uh, Control F4? <laughs> no, Seriously? No. no. I, I no. don't have an F button, remember? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Control Alt F4. <laughs> All right. Are we, are we seeing it? Is this it? Nope. Nope. Just still seeing you. Like you're literally hitting share screen, right? I hit share and screen. Then, my and then you entire hit, window. And then you hit, hit share, share screen again, right? And then you highlight the window that you want to share, and then you hit share again. I know it's ridiculous, but you have to do it like three times. Share again? Are you lying to me? No, dude. No, it's it's, it's like a process. You hit share screen, then mm -hmm. you hit the blue share screen. And then you highlight the window that you want to share, your entire screen, I assume, and you hit the share button. That's it. Just doesn't right. have to approve anything. And I hit share. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what do you see? I... Okay, so I'm looking at the window right now. I'm looking at... at okay, highlight, highlight that window. How Make sure it's like it? a blue box. Like, click your left button on it. And then, like, see, there, there should be a blue box around it. And then hit the share button. So I do. I I, I choose your entire screen. Yeah. And I hit and share. Then, uh, -huh. uh huh. Yep. And then, and then I click on my tab because it should be my whole window it should be everything on here. 
but you guys don't see it. I don't see any. Do you All have right. two monitors or just I one? I do not have two monitors. I'm not fancy like that. Okay. Well, you slip in silk sheets, so I thought you had money for two monitors. <laughs> you want to try it again? Hit share screen. I've been share doing Share screen it. again. Highlight the entire box, I guess. Your entire screen. And then just hit the share button. Okay, now I'm seeing something. It must be me. No. I, no, I can't see anything. Whoops. Wait a sec. I saw something for a second. Hold on. I, I saw... <laughs> no, he, he, live. He, he did... He, he was doing it for a second. Okay, okay. How many bros live for half the fucking time we spend just talking to each other about IT? But this, this is the same way I do this every week. So I, I know, know that's what's weird here. is you've never had a problem before. Right, oh, well, then you, you know what you're doing. So it should be your own, I assume, Chrome. Are you using Chrome? Yes. Are you guys seeing it now? Nope. Nah, dude. Are you, are, yeah, yeah. Are you seeing at the bottom where it says your screen is being shared? Stop sharing? No, I don't see that. Which is why you I know it's see not working. It. Yeah, that's why it's not working. So something is. Hmm. I mean, down, I can share. Down in the waiting room, it, it shows my screen. It says Extreme Gabe screen. So I don't know if Jess has to. Click, click on it, Jess, to see what happens. Click on what? Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jess? Holy shit. There we go. Well, it, so it, it was, was not, Jess's fault. <laughs> it wasn't showing up <laughs> until I scrolled up. I'm sorry. It's, a, it's okay, man. We all have our. It's not. It was issues. my fault. I apologize to everyone. It was my fault. It, no. For some reason, it it was um, below everything. I. It was my okay. fault. I screwed up. No worries. I'm yeah. quitting. I'm quitting this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> Omni Bros Live. Uh, and we spent 15 <laughs> minutes just trying to show our screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's always the least. It's always always Jess who's the least technical person that's in charge of all of our technical stuff. Well, that's because I'm the only one that's ever on time. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We're not gonna argue on the air. We spent ten minutes trying to get this shit up. What's uh, what's coming out from Image Comics? <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and burn through this real quick. It's not a big week, but thank you, Jess. I appreciate you figuring this out. That's good. Uh, so I have no idea what the hell this first uh, book is. Oh, that's a mouthful. Aminopachus. Yes. All right. So moving on, we have a uh, saga compendium trade paperback volume one. Cool. This yep. is the first 54 oh, issues. Geez. Oh, whoa. Jesus. <laughs> That's huge. We knew that. Remember? Because we were like, yeah. oh, it was solicited as a hardcover. And then they broke our hearts. Everybody thought it was, it was a soft cover. Right. So mm -hmm. they go to hell. Uh, I will keep my three hardcovers. Yeah, those hardcovers are beautiful, man. I'd rather have that. But this is, if you're the type of person that wants, this is probably a, a little bit more affordable than three hardcovers. So, yeah, go for it. Same thing as like the Walking Dead compendiums, just big old phone book sized omnibus. Uh, and then we have Spawn Hardcover Gallery Edition of the first 100 covers. And another Spawn Enemy of the State trade paperback. It's almost like there's a big Spawn event happening this weekend. Oh, is this there? Week. Spawn 300 comes out this week. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know. Uh, to uh, ETL, I say yes. If you if you love those covers, then it's worth it. Keep going. Yeah, dude. if you just want to just flip through, yeah. like you know, a cover like art book. from like all these great artists. You got Greg Capullo. You got Tony Daniel, uh -huh. Mark Silvestri, Frank Miller, Mike Minoya, Ashley Wood. I mean, it, it's it's the first 100 covers, so you could either. You know, flip if you don't have all the issues, and you don't like owning all the issues, you just want to just flip through and enjoy. It looks like the covers are all virgin, yeah. where it doesn't have the trade dress on it. So it's some really cool it's stuff. A, it's it's going to cool be art. it's going to be in color too, right? Wait a it's minute. Not gonna be, it's gonna How be... many pages is this? A hundred at least. hundred. <laughs> I don't believe that they're gonna. It's gonna be for that price. It's gonna be twenty bucks. No, this is gonna be. It's gonna, you be, think 10, it's gonna be two to a page. It's gonna be ten pages. They're gonna put ten in each page. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this right here. It's just this image of Spawn 100 in the middle, and then just a frame of all the other covers. 
That's all you get. It's really just a poster. But that is a really affordable price, a hundred bucks, or I'm sorry, twenty bucks for mm -hmm. you know just a hundred covers. That's cool. Mm -hmm. There's like an art book in here. Apparently, is a gallery and an art book. In I, I, I want to see an there. overview of this. I maybe I'll get some in the store. We'll see what happens. Take some pictures. I'll know what my orders are. Send me my send one my way, and I'll do an overview. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> spawn. <laughs> All right, and then we have Dark Horse next, which is Archie versus Predator, uh, Eerie Archives, Volume Twenty Seven. Hell yes, that is it, uh, folks. That's is all. This the end. That is the last one. Yep, I'm gonna do an overview of it. Uh, I love that shit, man. But ten years in the making. That's how long it took them to get them all out. Jesus, how how I'm, I'm assuming a lot of the earlier ones and the random ones are probably just hard to find, right? Honestly, I'm scared to look because I'm missing a lot. <laughs> so hmm. I, I, I don't. I, I'll look I, later and see. I don't yeah. look yet. I didn't uh, do that. Imana? Imanon? Yeah, I have no idea what Imanon is. That, that stuff is beautiful. And then StarCraft, Volume 2. Yeah. IDW has got a bunch of uh, uh, whatever stuff, I guess. I'll the early years trade paperback. Uh, oh, did the Jim Cornette presents Beyond the Curtain wrestling comic book? Springtime in Chernobyl and Surfside Girls uh, graphic. And all these will be available on our sponsor, InStockTrades.com, 12 Pacific, 12 noon, 3 so. Uh, DC, we've got Batman Kings of Fear hardcover, Curse of Brimstone Volume 2, Jeff Johns' Flash Volume 6. There's, there's Omni's coming out of that pretty soon. And mm -hmm. the omnibus that nobody asked to get reprinted. This is Grayson. I can promise you that will not be 50% off because reprints yeah. only go to 42%. We sure about that, Jess? Uh, okay, I can. I'm making an educated <laughs> just, guess. Dude, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> I made, that's a good point. I'm making an educated guess because uh, yeah. Spider-Man 3, what, or uh, what was the most recent Spider-Man that was uh, one? one. Yeah, one, one. that was at 42% because it was a reprint. And I, it mm -hmm. is my firm belief that I'm basing on absolutely nothing but previous experience that that will be 42% off. So don't hold me to it. Because apparently I can't even run the board here. <laughs> okay. Don't be so hard on yourself, man. Uh, then Sandman Volume 11. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary edition. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe somebody... I've never heard of this title before. So wow. Watch Man. Watch Men with Raw Shark on the cover. There's a Raw Shark on that cover. Sure is. <laughs> You can find our Rar Shark T-shirts on our on our uh, Teespring link in the description. Everybody, I would. And like then to... Wonder Woman Year One Deluxe. I'd like to see that. Uh, yes, please. What is? No, that? no. This is shit. No. Yeah. Don't, that, that... don't even click on it. This pisses I've me off. I've already seen this. Uh -huh. You already oh, have. You already have is this the uh, Rebirth stuff? Yes. yes it's the oh, okay. even numbers. <laughs> What is this? It's the it, even number. You know how, you know oh. how Earth, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman is two different stories going on at the same time. There's the odd number stories oh, oh, and oh. Then the even number issue stories. So now they're apparently splitting that up and they're their own separate hardcovers. They keep or, making things like this because this people is, like just forget what they buy. No, I have everything <laughs> now uh, CLZ'd and except, yeah, they threw a curveball at me. I, yeah. This is something that I would have looked at and gone, oh, 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 oh. I don't have this. <laughs> Wait, Omni dog, you're not the IT guy we need. He's the IT guy we have. <laughs> you know, well, we even in the... But yeah, this is just... <laughs> Go for it, Omar. I was going to say, even, um, even the way that they are uh, reprinted, though, in the first hardcover... All the stuff is separated from the modern to the flashback. Mm -hmm. So you get the flashback first, the year one, and then you have the modern stuff. 
Yep. For only five more dollars, you can have everything. <laughs> Fucking exactly. DC. Well, everybody's uh, pissed about this. Even the chat is pissed about it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Jess. Thanks for what? For bringing it's it up. Really, well, this is confusing. <laughs> okay. oh, bad, Jess, bro. Old wounds. <laughs> Old wounds. Man. No, I mean, I think I think this is the kind of stuff that people need to know. This is the kind of stuff we need to bring to people's attention. Is if you have yep. uh, Wonder Woman Rebirth Volume One, you don't need this. This is just a completely unnecessary uh, addition uh, that mm -hmm. we've complained about before. That DC will make all these new additions and reprints and and just basically gut out one mm -hmm. omnibus and turn it into an absolute, or make an absolute and turn it into an omnibus like immediately after its release. It's unnecessary, and this is the kind of stuff you know people come here for. Our opinion, and they stay here for me and Omar to argue with each other. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy this. This is fucking great. So, just warning: if you have that original one, just you could just skip this. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. For this does contain else. that one story from the annual one that's not collected anywhere. So that's God justified. damn it, Omar! Now I gotta buy it. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta get it. <laughs> I'm fucking with you guys. I think it's in the second Omnivore collection. I don't care. Soon there's going to be an omnibus of this in the same order, and then another one of it being in the opposite order. All right, uh, so moving past DC, Marvel, we got a lot of... Ooh, um, Age of X-Man. Yeah, we got... So the Age of X-Man trade paperbacks are coming out. Yep, we get two um, of them. I think two every week for the next few weeks. Uh, so this is Age of X-Man, Marvelous X-Men. This is Zach Thompson... Doing the writing, Ramon Rosales. So, I want to say this is where the story begins because this collects X Men Alpha. I have some that I did a first uh, advance look at, but I don't have these. Yeah, this is okay. So this is the very first, the very first one you need. This is Age of X Men Alpha, and it contains Omega. Okay, so that's stupid. Nobody <laughs> needs this, Omar. <laughs> okay, I'm talking to the ten guys in the chat that are reading X Men. <laughs> if you. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this starts off. So what you want to do is read Age of X Men Alpha, then read Age of X Men Marvelous X Men one through five. Stop, stop reading, and then go and read all the other miniseries, and come back to this and read Marvelous X Men one through five. I bet this might be fifty percent off if I was a betting man. And then next up for Age of X Men, we got Next Gen with Ooh, our I like Bob Mark Herman. Marcos Toe and Brisbane. This is a good and team. Even more important, even more important, we got Maggot. Maggot's on the cover here. <laughs> it's not the Maggot I like, but it's you yeah. know. But it's the Maggot we get. That's right. Yeah. And Glob Herman. What's it collecting? Oh, okay. One through four. Okay. Okay. Age of X Men next gen one through five. One through five. Okay. Uh, Fantastic Four uh, epic collection. This is some of the best stuff that you're ever going to read right here for Fantastic the, Four. The Black Panther. Yeah, this is right after the Black Trilogy stuff. So oh, yeah. The Black Panther, um, all the Wakanda stuff in here. I'm trying to think of what else comes out after this that's in this set. But I mean, if you have Volume 2 of the Omnibus, you don't need this. But if you don't have it, because all that om all those Omnis are out of print, I think. Not, uh, think really good. One is still in print. <laughs> I'll say 2 comes back soon. I'm sure it all will. Same with the X-Men stuff. Uh, Hawkeye uh, trade paperback called Private Eye. Meet mm -hmm. the Squirrels. Now, keep in mind, that one is a uh, digest size one. That's Which for one? like kit, the Hawkeye. So they're smaller scale, like for kids. Mm. And then uh, Marvel Masterworks, Marvel 2-in-1, Volume 4. We got some Star Wars action with Age of Rebellion villains. Star Wars Volume 11. Thor and Loki hardcover Blood Brothers. This is an old book, but it's always a good book. That is a good book. It's yeah. a solid book. I think that one might be 50% off. I'm just throwing shit out there right now. <laughs> uh, War Realms uh, Strike Force, and the one book I'm really looking forward to this week is X Men Grand Design Volume Three Extinction. Yes, by Ed Piscor. This stuff is awesome. Uh, this is by Piscor. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, 
You've been getting this, right, Jess? I have, yeah. I For some reason, I thought somebody else was writing it. No. Look, okay, here's what you do. If you have these, Jess, before we do next week's House of X and Powers of Ten, read all three of these books, because I think it would really help you out. Okay. Like, I'm not kidding. I know I fuck with you around, like, 90% of the time I'm on the show, but I think you would benefit, or anybody that's trying to get, you know, kind of like a Cliff Note versions of x-men and trying to understand the stuff that's happening in uh the heck the house of x and powers of 10 reading these would help out not gonna i'm not saying you'd understand everything but it would really be, no. you would benefit from reading it well basically these three oversized like trade paperback wannabe hardcovers uh they're they're, they're huge they're really they're like absolute sized and it's a really great rundown of all of x-men's history for the most part all the way up to this point here of the extinction. So you have all of the Chris Claremont era and the early Stan Lee era and everything. It's a very good uh, historical look told in sequence uh, of the x history. I just but wish they had collected read. the damn indexes. That's what I wish they would collect in these. Because those are the awesome. In the sing- you know, in the singles, where they tell you what part of the story happened when, like, oh, like his little, what like, issue. His, when he shows his work. Yes, I love from. that. So hopefully, that's maybe in, that's not in these, these they don't collect really? them in the nah. That's maybe stupid. maybe when we get like a slipcase something, I don't know. But I love that because when I read the first issue, I was like, "Wow, this did, did this stuff really happen?" Because there's a lot of odd stuff in the X Men. Oh, it happened. <laughs> yeah, and then he goes, and he's like, he's basically saying, "Yeah, it happened." Here is all my reference material in the back. So I did read the first grand design. Oh, then you should know everything. Uh, yeah. About X Men. I do. At least the first few years, Fort Giant. First, size. yeah. And all right, and then Boom Studios, Amazing World of Gumball, Charles Schultz is Linus, uh, hmm. Klaus. How 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 Santa Claus began. Is that oh, just and, the uh, trade of the mm-hmm. hardcover? I think. Yeah. Look, oh, I think okay. It's Okay. Oh, so this isn't anything new. Right. The solicit reads the same as the other one. Seven issues. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the same stuff. New World original graphic novel. I don't know what that is, but is... I dig that cover. Reminds me of Longbow cool. Hunters. And then reminds me of Pocahontas. <laughs> or <Go> what? <laughs> because of the New World. Yes. I got you. All right, and then uh, this is uh, Omar and uh, Geo section for the. Early I'll take emails. it. I'll take it. What do we got, Geo? Let's, Let's what see. weird ass title that they won't read. Uh, Bloodborne <laughs> is based on the video. The game. answer is all of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else? How about catch catastronauts? Scroll down. Shut up. <laughs> Castronauts. <laughs> that sounds like you're getting a like, castration in space. That's not even manga, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Don't throw your shit on us. Wait, let me <laughs> throw your shit. I, I like Castronauts again, and let's just read the first thing. Pom Pom pushes her experiments to the limit on the International Space Station while the cats at Mission Control take a much needed break. That sounds like manga to me. <laughs> dude, look at the names. It's Drew Brockington. Pom pom. I am really looking at the names. Flight director Maisie. This is this catstronauts. This is just forward reading manga. You well, guys look, are just stereotyping now. Yeah. Not every cat book is a manga. <laughs> just the cat girl. Just most. Yeah. <laughs> all all the cat comics are. And they manga, have to be though, detectives. Right? <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Is that a new uh Meta Baron's book? I know it's that? another Meta Baron's book. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. Potato, potato. Let me see what it has. Yeah, this is new, I think. Um. So is it like explaining the... Shed light book? on secret surround. Oh, it's an encyclopedia. Nah, I don't need that. Reference book. Nah, not for me. I still have my set of Encyclopedia Britannica. Ooh, fancy. Oh, no, it was ten dollars at a yard sale, man. My family grew up poor. We bought it like it was the nineteen seventy four <laughs> version. I couldn't even do a fucking book report on the takedown of the Berlin Wall. <laughs> <laughs> guess guess what? That happened not in nineteen seventy four. 
<laughs> Kids these days don't know how good they have it with the internet. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, now who's the old man? <laughs> oh, true. Uh, oh, Maidens is pretty good. It's a pretty fun book. Uh, Overlord. I like the anime, but I don't know about that book. A la carte. Well, we got Fairy Tale, Hundred Years Quest. Fairy Tale, a lot, a lot of people like that. Uh, Piercy Jackson. Wow, that's not manga. Shibuya Goldfish. I've heard about that. I, I don't. It's it's about a. I think it's horror. I don't know. But I've heard about it on the uh, otaku group. Uh, Silver Spoon. That's my pick. If you want a good wholesome manga and you want to learn about agriculture, oh. farming, and just okay. fun, um, country and that's, fun, and Silver Spoon. That's from okay. uh, Arakawa. Is there some kind of weird relationship between him and the horse? <laughs> no, 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 no. What makes you think that's a he? <laughs> You're right. That, that's that's really bad of me, because you never know with these mangas. Uh, now, that's, it, that's it, it could Gio's, only be a female horse. That is Geo's recommendation for a manga. Now, go back. Yeah. I'm going to show you yeah, mine. Oh, Pay attention, Jess. Right oh, yes. yeah. Click on that. Click on that. Jess, <laughs> eh? Come on now. Where you at, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to read the damn description. It's already in his cart. <laughs> Let's look at the description. That's a, that's it's a cool. lovely story about uh, agriculture and boobies. <laughs> it's about an abyss king where he. He's locked himself in his room with his five brides. Right. The only one way, one way out. out. <laughs> Jess is like, I gotta get the rest of these books. Damn Already it. in my cart. That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> we are totally right. because of that. Uh, and I think that's that. That's yeah. that, folks. All right. Uh, and I am sorry to say that uh, Emily just texted me and said that uh, Cameron will decide tomorrow morning on what is 50% off. Well, go ahead and tell her what I say. <laughs> man. We'll tell you what's 50% <laughs> off, Emily. HMX man. It's something well, else I can't remember. If, if and that find, one manga. If we find out, uh, we'll post it on Instagram, right? Yeah, right, I do. As I soon do as Instagram. we find out. So. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah so follow uh, Omni Bros Live on Instagram to figure out the discount. Sorry exactly. to anybody else out there that uses our information to make a video later, but we don't have it right now. Were you you call me out? Yes. Do I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can, you know how hard it is to get my own information? <laughs> I'm so glad Marvel reached out to me. God, <laughs> man, there's headaches of going through like – Jess's videos and pulling out the good <laughs> parts. <laughs> uh, do we have time for DC solicits? Maybe we could just do the highlights. Yeah, we can talk about the opnies. Oh man, I gotta share my screen again. Damn it. Oh, I know how to do that. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. All right. Anything? Damn it. Damn it. That's not what we need either. Nope. nope. There it is. Nope. There we go. All right. Solicits, November 2019. Let me scroll down to the stuff that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Mushy is what it's called. <laughs> now I have a name for my disorder. It's Just, not that I didn't uh, give a shit. Our, our uh, Huntress statue is officially solicited uh, in oh, the article. So, yeah, we got to pre-order that ASAP. Uh, I'm, I, I think the, I, that, uh, Dang the, it. That, <laughs> that Harley Quinn statue you tagged me on today oh, is yeah. the bomb ski. Yeah, looks great. That Adam Hughes uh, Harley Quinn uh, DC mm-hmm. cover girl. Wow. Yep. That thing is beautiful. I got to get that. It's I, on it's on the article. We can look at it at the end. Okay. All right. So I think the uh the main thing that we got from these solicits is this first bit here. Yeah. Which is awesome. the absolute uh swamp thing by Alan Moore volume 2. 
Nice. Volume two, volume one isn't out yet. That comes out October sixteenth, I believe the date is. Mm. But we now have semi confirmation that they're going to go forward, and we're going to get us a second Alan Moore swap thing as well, which is thirty five to fifty of that swamp thing run. <laughs> There's a lot of Omar was so poor jokes. I just noticed the damn chat. Yeah. <laughs> There Some of these are town. true assholes. <laughs> <laughs> my dad did watch his paper plates. Where's my wife at? She can confirm that shit. What uh, issues are going to be in um, these Absolute Swamp Thing 2? Can, we can't really uh, see 35, that. 35, yeah, 35 to 50. 50. Hey, Gabe, zoom, zoom in. Zoom in, I'm yeah. trying to, but it won't let me. And then I step away, it just takes me to the top of the fucking article. Uh. The trial of Gambit is breaking your computer. That's the problem. <laughs> the trial of Gambit is the coolest thing on this computer. Uh, I know I was happy with the uh, Superman Batman Omni. I, somehow I did not know about that. Yeah, we talked about it, remember? No. Oh. Oh, there we go. Like, there oh, we go. There we go. Nice. Yeah. So, absolutely Swamp Thing, uh, and then the Aquaman that just dropped is yeah. not getting the uh, trade paperback. The Kelly Sue the Conic version. By the way, uh, I, I don't know if anybody noticed, but under the solicitation for Swamp Thing, it says DC Black Label. So that's 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 a thing now. Yeah, that's that's taking over the vertical stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. Good looking at that's a good point. Trial Gambit equals Darkhawk. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, wait. Darkhawk is a lot cooler. Hey, you motherfucker. Darkhawk <laughs> and Gambit is like look. If Darkhawk was in the That's room, the he, he would comics. like knock Gambit out and take his girl. That's how cool Darkhawk is. Aquaman trade paperback. All right, moving on. And then Aquaman and then Volume Darkhawk. Two. This is the Yay. second Kelly Sue Deconic hardcover. Amnesty. Mm -hmm. Do we just want to hit the highlights, or we kind of just want to go? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Highlights. Okay. Yeah. We don't want to talk about the shit that breaks our hearts, like those standard hardcovers. Well, like this Batman Detective Comics Volume Two. Yep. Yep. Move on. <laughs> Fuck those books. There's a uh, Joshua Middleton. Ooh, I knew that. I would love if that dude could just do a monthly book again. This artwork is so awesome. Female Furies. That's awesome. Green Lantern Volume 1 trade paperback. There's the Volume 2. Volume 2 hardcover. Mm, uh, good, speaking of Rebirth, uh, Rebirth is getting a uh, the Rebirth <laughs> Select Edition hardcover. <laughs> oh my god. That's like a slap in the face to DC people that are bitching about the Rebirth line Deluxe Edition's dying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we have a new Rebirth Deluxe Edition. It just isn't anything to do with the Rebirth line. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like they're trolling us. Gotcha, suckers. Uh, here's a good one. Uh, Justice League by Scott Snyder, Deluxe Edition. Oh, oh, I love good. that cover. Now, that is a rebirth that hap that if you own the hardcovers, that takes place right after the Christopher Priest hardcover. Oh, I love it. I don't know so why in God's name, besides me and Jess, you would own the Justice League by Brian Hitch hardcovers, though. But if you do, <laughs> this is the fifth one in that line. I'm never going to forgive you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a good jumping on point, too. I mean... Mm -hmm. You might need to read the uh, what was it called that uh, that five issue miniseries that came out. No justice. This? No justice. Yeah. No justice. That, I, I hope they collect that. Be good. I hope they collect that in that omnibus that we're gonna be waiting around forever. The, what pisses me off about this is it was advertised for the longest time. It was it was promoted and and pumped with the, having Jim Chung art, and I think Jim Chung did like two issues so far. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, he didn't do much in there at all. It's not, yeah. what's his name? Julio Jimenez or Jorge Jimenez? Jorge. Yeah. Right. Well, his, his art is awesome anyway. Oh, Jorge and My Julio. Part really? is how they couldn't figure out. <laughs> My favorite part is how they couldn't figure out how to spell Michael Janin's name, so they just put a question mark in it. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm okay with that. Here, here, this is cool. I don't, no one's talked about this, but I like the idea of having more Steve Englehart. And yeah. Marshall Rogers books. I'm getting uh, that for sure. Uh, Mr. Miracle here. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Promethea, yeah. Volume Two Deluxe. Nice. I still I, I've never read Promethea because I can never find those uh, absolutes. So I might have to start getting these uh, deluxes. Here's something for uh, for Jess. We got super friends. Super friends. I used to have Super Friends bed sheets. Awesome. In college, were they made of silk? Uh, no. Oh, there's a deluxe edition nobody wanted. Yeah, really. Superman for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can get the absolute for you can get the absolute for a like, dirt cheap everywhere. Yeah, I don't think I think Ollie's <laughs> gives them away with every purchase of like yeah. groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Compliment to it. Uh, I, I uh, will. Superman Secret Origin? This is a good I, one. That's already been out in. Yeah, I'm looking at it. That, that's that been out in OHC, so this is a reprint. <clears throat> there it is. Oh, here we go. Batman, or Superman, Batman Omnibus Volume 1. Yay. Oh, I'll be getting that. that cover. That's, I, I have, absolutely will be getting You know what? I should make I have my, the my phone wallpaper. That's so dope looking. I have yeah, the absolutes. I'm gonna keep them. I don't care. I, I like, like the absolutes, them. but this one has a lot more. Mm -hmm. and that's probably for me. The I'm absolutes is fine because it stopped where it's kind of that's all I want is just the like, the Jeff Loeb, oh. Michael Turner kind of stuff. Ed McGinnis. Man, whatever makes you feel better, yeah, man. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Swamp Thing, Bronze Age trade paperback volume two. No one cares. No one cares about Teen Titans. <laughs> I care. That's another omnibus. Here's the word of the gods omnibus. Yeah. Is this like what? Is this like George Perez volume three or? No, that was included in the volume three, but this includes all the events, like all the crossovers it had. So much like Crisis so like on Infinite like Earth. Mm. Not really. I don't. I mean, unless you really like War of the Gods, it's just a book with all the. Some of these are just like red skies, man. Other what it, yeah. Yeah, watch my companion hardcover. We need another one of those. Said no one. Ever. Oh, this includes the watching the watchmen stuff. That's cool. And it includes the watchmen uh the game modules from the old uh like D D style stuff. Wow. <clears throat> and that's that, everybody. All right. Right Good on, job. man. Good job, everybody. Word. Yeah. All right, fellas, I got to jump off. Not but. before I tell everybody where they can get those solicitations that we just talked about. In stocktrades.com, where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discounts, they tack on 2% to that. Every quarter, there's an Omnibus Live discount code. Free shipping comes to those in the United States if they order $50 or more worth of books. Fabulous customer service. Fabulous packaging. That's InStockTrades.com. Nice. Thank you. The Uncanny Omar. Where can they find you tomorrow night with me? Yeah, I have a special guest. Justin joining me. You can find me on the channel. Human Condition. Classic nice. pop-up. That's where I am. What about you, Gio? Where can people find you? You can find me uh, at A Week in Geekdom talking about anime, manga, comics, movies, and everything else in between. That's A Week in Geekdom. Not A Geek in Weekdom. I made exactly. that mistake one time. <laughs> geek in Weekdom. Nice. Gabe Barino. You can find me uh, here Sundays and Mondays. Uh, Instagram is Gabe Loves 90s Comics and the uh, yeah. Omnibus Collectors Facebook group. That's did right. you really change your name to Gabe Loves 90s Comics? That's awesome. I did. I did. Good for you. I didn't know you could change your name. That's awesome. Did Gio, uh, Gio, did you have a quick uh, picture of that Adam Hughes uh, Harley? Oh, it was in that. It was in the uh, in the solicitations. Oh, it was? Yeah. Oh, all right. <clears throat> well, we'll show it uh, at a later what, date. What is it, the statue? Yeah. 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 It's Adam Hughes statues of the it's Adam Man. Hughes statue that is fantastic. Yeah, it looks pretty badass. It is really beautiful. How much do they go for? Like, what do you think? Would... Let me I check. Think... Let me check. Hey, Jess, I'm Wait. a screen share. Okay. Like a hundred dollars, maybe. I think so. Oh, it's the red, black, and white. Okay. That one. These are ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. 
ninety dollars. That's a so, steal. I'm gonna yeah. pre-order that from DCBS. That's Jeff is getting cute. that one, and I'm getting the Huntress one. Yeah, I had is to that also Huntress Adam one. Hughes? Oh, no. you gotta get them both, Jess. Hard is <laughs> gonna get lonely if you don't get the Huntress. There are Huntress. only five thousand of them made, though. Yeah, yeah. The, she's gonna have plenty of company. Huntress is by um, Emanuela Lupicino. I think it's twelve uh, inches ETL. Oh, is this, oh yeah. this, Huntress Ooh, is cool. That is really cool. I may have to get that too. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna go watch the boys. You gentlemen have a good evening. All right, good night, man. All righty, and you can find me Omni Dog and Omni. Oh well, I'll wait for you to sign off. Yeah. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> I thought you, well, you guys could stay in chat. That, that was just no, that's cool. You can sign off. I'm just I'm just gonna tell them where they can find me. Go ahead and, and no, I it. like listening. I forget where do they find you. Where do people find you, Jess? They like can find me on Omni Dog's Vault on YouTube and on Instagram, Omni Dog's underscore Vault, and of course on the Omnibus Collectors Comic Swap and Community page. You or if you pay Facebook. this guy money, <laughs> that guy can let you in. <laughs> Apparently, that's the way that shit works. <clears throat> it's not how it works. <laughs> All right, good night, it's everybody. Totally how peace and love. Everybody. Peace and love. Thank you to DocTrades.com. The chat was great. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. And we love you all. All our viewers in the chat was great. Thank you very much. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe. Share your subscribe. We're very subscribe. close to 3,000 right now. So hit Oh, we'll get that. Hit the like button and we'll like you. Bye-bye.